All right, Shalom Akim. I like to say Kal Halayim, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash, you know, double honesty apostles, the elders of Red Millstone at Ruwell, peace and salutation to the Akim around the world that pushes through to the four corners of the earth. And it's Yaraba from the GMS Trinidad East Camp. I like to say, um, I'll do some precepts pertaining to know what um, topic will be. Know your weaknesses, work on them. Because really and truly, as a man of the Lord, you're supposed to be examining yourself constantly. Right? You're supposed to be knowing where, what areas you're weak in and actually working on them. <coughs> Especially if you had to go out and teach these people. All right, I'll start with a scripture that is, um, that is in Romans. At the end of the day, for we to go and edify these people out here, we had to be fixing ourselves also. Right? Because we know that we are also sick. It's not just the tutors that's sick, you know. Brothers also have the little sicknesses. I'm not talking about infirmities like, you know, like um, plagues of the flesh or so forth. But while you're in this flesh, you know, we're not 100%. We just go off from time to time with our certain things we might fault in that we have to work on. You understand? We are sick. As Yahweh Shai himself said, he said, um, Say they that they that are whole need not a physician, All right? <clears throat> um, I'll, Romans two, I'll start from seventeen. Right, they say, "Behold, thou art called a Jew, and recessed in the law, right, and make it thy boast of power." And knowest his will, which is what we do now. We know his will. <coughs> and we make it the bo make it our boast in him. That he is the power of Israel. That he's coming to destroy this place. That you have to lean on him. You understand? Because he's the one true power. Right? And know it his will. And approve us the things that are more excellent. Being, it's a being instructed out of the law. And that's how we just receive our instructions, our corrections. And all these different things. And that is why he is used to instruct and correct others also. Through the law, right? <clears throat> it says, And art confident that thou thyself art a guide of the blind. <coughs> because these people out here are classed as what? Are blind. Right? It says, A light of them which are in darkness. An instructor of the foolish. It's as the Lord himself said, he said, my people are foolish. A teacher of babes, which has the form of knowledge and of the truth in the law. It said, thou therefore, which teachest another, teaches thou not thyself. And there's really the point I wanted to bring out. Right? If we get to go out and teach these people to actually work on the self, to be more like the Lord want them to be, you know, to stop transgressing, you know, to strengthen the self, in the spirit of the Lord and so forth. We know just how to go out and teach them these things. We had to apply these things to ourselves. <coughs> you understand? And sometimes when you see brothers falling off and being weak in the spirit, why? It's because they're not applying these things. Right? But it's something you're supposed to be not just teaching to others, but applying to yourself constantly. That is why you'll see, I said in a video, me and my brother said it in a video sometime back, I say when, whenever you're doing videos, it's not just to edify the sheep. It's also to edify yourself. A lot of the time, the Lord will put the Spirit on you to do these videos. It's not just for you to teach somebody else, but for you to also apply it to yourself. You understand? It's like I say. It says, teachest thou not thyself. Right? I'll read it over. It says, thou therefore which teachest another, teachest thou not thyself. Thou that preachest a man should not steal. Dost thou steal? You understand? And that is an example. And again, more examples going down. <clears throat> so really and truly, you're supposed to be working on yourself also. It's not just about going and edify the sheep. It's also about, like the scriptures talk about, working out your own salvation. You're supposed to make sure that yourself is in an order. <coughs> right? It says, um, the 2 Corinthians 13 verse 5, right? It says, examine yourselves whether ye be in the feet. And that examination is supposed to be what constantly. 
Because a man, as, as a man in the truth, you're supposed to understand yourself. You're supposed to know where you're weak at, where you're strong at, you know. And the things that you're weak at, you're supposed to work on it and strengthen it. And one of the reasons why is because that is the things that spirits does target. Because when you're weak at something, that is what spirits look into target. If, if, this, if spirits know that you're weak when it comes to women, they will use women against you. If you know you're weak pertaining to your children, they'll use your children against you. If you're weak pertaining to your family or towards your family, they'll use your family against you. You understand? You know, if you like, if you like to be loved by people, it will turn people against you. Your weaknesses is what is what is be. <coughs> you know, one of one of one of um one one of the tools that will be used against you. So you just have to work on those weak links. As the, as you know, as you say in this go, when you have a weak link, the chain the chain have a problem. So you have to work on those weaknesses. You have to examine yourself, examine what does make you tick. You know what where it is fault at, and work on those faults to become stronger. Right. <clears throat> you say examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. You say prove your own selves. It say, know ye not your own selves? As a spiritual man, you're supposed to know yourself. Like the scriptures say in um, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 2, it say, He that is spiritual judges all things. You're supposed to understand yourself. If you know that you're weak in something, the fool yourself. And if you know you're, if you know <coughs> if you know you're strong in something, do it. Don't deceive yourself and, t and tell yourself that you don't need to do this. You know, you don't need to do that. All that goes back to what discernment. And even if even if discernment mightn't be a strength, you should be wise enough to ask the Lord to help you discern things. Just like King David did. You understand? He asked for this uh, uh, sorry, Salak here. Just like King Solomon did. King Solomon, right, when he was in the, when he was in the trance and he asked the Lord for what? Wisdom and discernment. To make judgment. Because these are the things that you just need in this truth. Because if you can't be able to discern simple things, especially what you're weak at, you will constantly fall until eventually you might fall away. And that is not something you're looking forward to in this truth. It's examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. It's prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that, you, how that Mashayak is in you except you be what reprobate void of judgment <clears throat> because these two thirds out here they don't have they don't have judgment they don't have righteous judgment they, they can't even discern the rights from the wrongs because they could be doing something that's wrong and they tell them the self it right you understand they don't have that kind of judgment but as a spiritual man you're supposed to have that judgment you're supposed to understand a hey, yeah, that way, that way I'm doing there. That is shit I want to do. I'm not supposed to be doing that. You understand? I'm supposed to work on this. I'm supposed to work on that. And so forth. You understand? You're supposed to have that kind of mindset as a spiritual man. Alright? Now let's go through those two precepts. I ain't going to make it too long. <coughs> you know, just I'll touch on, you know, focusing on your weaknesses. Working on them. And all these different things. Because strengthening yourself is a time that is something that in this time you have to focus on. You have to focus on these things. And the scriptures talk about it. Say when the Son of Man returns, shall he find faith on the earth? All these times now to work on yourself and build yourself up. Because that last exam will be coming. And all the faith that you have will be put to use. And all of those tests that you'll be getting, those tests will be against what you're weak at because the, because these spirits spirits that are trying you they don't try you with, with something that you're strong at you understand they just look for your weak points you know like when when you're in a battle when a fighter in a battle and you're fighting somebody else where you just look for you just look for the weak points he go he go hit you in one spot to weaken that spot and then when he realize that spot damage that is the only spot he's gonna be targeting that all these spirits is operate they just look at your weaknesses so you had to strengthen yourself, especially if you know you're, you're weak in certain areas. Build yourself up, right? 
Anyway, with that, I say Shalom.